Hi guys, it's Lenius and in this video uh, I'll show you my attempt at recreating Letty Dimitrescu from Resident Evil 8 in Final Fantasy XIV. So she has been a fan favorite in 2021. I've seen like everyone on the internet uh, posting about her, like even people that didn't play Resident Evil, non-video game players, like everyone. Everyone was posting about Letty Dimitrescu. So I thought that there could be some people interested in uh, in seeing if it was possible to recreate her in Final Fantasy. And I tried and it has been hard. <laughs> it has been so hard because she's a she's a really unique character, like the size of the character, the, the makeup, the hairstyle, the expression, everything combined makes her really hard to recreate in any video game editor I would say, not only Final Fantasy XIV. Of course for Final Fantasy it's even harder because uh, Final Fantasy has its own aesthetic with like fresh faces, uh, young characters, good looking characters, which is not Resident Evil aesthetic, right? I had already made a character from Resident Evil which is uh, Albert Wesker, but he is uh, kind of a ordinary human with some unique traits. Well, the Dimitrescu is completely unique. So the result is not perfect. You can probably see for yourself that she's missing some details. Maybe the expression is not perfect. But I think this is the best that you can possibly get. And maybe some player that's, that's more experienced than me in Glamour can find some clothes that are kind of that look like the original ones from the, from the original character and end up with a, with a result that resembles the original quite well. So using, using this, um, this model that I'll show you today. So if you already decided that you want to try to recreate her for your character or for your, for your retainer, uh, you, you find all of these settings, all the settings that you need, in the comments, you don't need to scroll through the whole video finding the the, the color, the um, which face I used, everything. You just find all of these settings over here in my comment down below in the video. That will be my comment with everything. And that was it. So now, for the people instead that are interested in watching the whole video, because they want to hear about why I chose certain things, why, what were the problems, and what you can possibly change. Uh, now I'll go over everything for the people that like to play with the editor. So, starting from the race, of course. So, race there were like two candidates, which were female Rogadin and female Highlander. I chose female Rogadin because female female Highlander is shorter, and also the faces were not what I was looking for. They, you you couldn't really achieve something looking like uh, Lady Dimitrescu with uh, female Highlander. So, female Rogan, mm. Clan, Sea Wolves, no, Health Guard, because Sea Wolves are green. <laughs> They're green, so Health Guard was really the only option. Mm. And then there's all the rest. So, starting from height, height, but she's known for, for being uh, tall. So, I maxed the uh, I maxed the uh, height out and um, so 100 here muscle tone i used 30 because she's not a chisel she has like she looks like normal in terms of like muscle mass and everything like that um, bus size uh, maxed out for uh, for the joy of everyone <laughs> and because that's just how the character looks and then skin color i would say that any color from here will be fine so i just chose this one but it doesn't really make that much of a difference you choose anyone else from here these ones are too pinkish and these ones are too dark of course here's the second row this one over here as usual that the hairstyle is not perfect because there's never the perfect hairstyle that a certain cat has but this one kind of had the same feeling of like um, retro look you could say i would have liked if there were a bit more hair over here but there are not so this one was the best i could find hair color darkest uh, black available face number four jaw number one and eye shape number three 
Ari size larger, I think, is more true to the character. Eye color, and then here there was another problem. Eye color, depending like the which moment of the game or like which screenshot uh, or artwork you're looking at, the eye color kind of changes. So I went for this yellow over here that has kind of a glassy look because I think it's the one that that's predominant in the game but there's not the perfect eye color for this character but still this one is fine eyebrows number four her eyebrows are actually arched uh, this way over here kind of rounded but I didn't have an option like that so I went for these diagonal ones they still don't make much of a difference so they're fine so eyebrows number four nose number five with mouth number two, she has a really big mouth with uh, thick lips. Lip color, she has um, a dark red lipstick, and I went for that. So, this red over here with dark setting uh, kind of gets the look. Facial features, I used two. Okay, so the first one was uh, thick eyebrows, you can see, and this, was, this one was really needed. And the other one, I used it to make this makeup around the eyes. So, the one of the problems I had is that if you've seen other of my videos, I always use the kind of the fa the face paint to make some sort of makeup or like effect around the eyes of a shadow. But the problem with Lady Dimitrescu is that she has uh, makeup around the air eyes, and she has two colors of makeup. She has black makeup and also this kind of pink purple um, color. So with two colors, luckily, there was this facial feature here, which is uh, these dark circles around her eyes. So combining this with uh, this face paint over here and the pink color, I was able to recreate the makeup around the eyes, which I thought I would not be able to do. I thought I would be able to only have the black circles around the eyes and not have the the purple. Instead, we managed to. So, these two facial features here. No tattoos, because we don't need them. And then, the face paint that I showed you. The first one with pink color and dark setting. And at least the, the eyes we, we got them right, so I was pretty pleased with that. And that was it, that was it for the physical features, there's the voice, and the only voice that kind of resembled Lady Dimitrescu's voice is the number 5. So. Yeah. This one was the best voice, it's kind of the deepest voice that you could, could find out of the female rocket in voices, and yeah, was the best option. Okay guys, so that was it for the video. If you appreciated my, um, my attempt at recreating the character, or even if you didn't, just give your feedback in the comment, I would like to hear what you think about the character, or like um, the video, or like uh, the way I talk, just any kind of feedback, uh, positive or negative, I'll still, I'll still um, be glad to read what you think about the video. And if you, if you actually like the video, you can leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. I'll keep posting some of these um, video game characters or like uh, recreating uh, anime characters uh, or characters from real life. I keep posting these and maybe in the future content from um, like other games or like uh, Final Fantasy 14 gameplay when like my university will allow me to. So that was it. Thank you if you <laughs> if you listen all the way up to here. I'm really glad to for that. And see you in the next video. Bye guys.